Yeah, so what does sort of Wednesday's game represent for you guys? Just an opportunity to get a win? Is it an opportunity to kind of push forward in the Open Cup? It means sort of a unique thing to this club, it seems like. All of the above. It's uh, an opportunity for a trophy. I mean, how many games are left that you have to play to get a trophy in that tournament? So it's a great opportunity for us. Um, it's a good confidence builder. When you do the right things and, and you're going about things the right way, and maybe they're not falling for you in <clears throat> league play, but they fall for you in cup play. You know that just builds confidence, and I think that's what, something we need right now. I'm sure, and Tyler Miller had a great game that that first one. Uh, what did you make of his performance there? And have you seen any difference in him since that night, carrying over to the practice field and everything else? Good players, you know, very capable players. Fisher could be a starting right back in this league for a number of teams. Anybody yeah, happens to have, you know, Tyrone Mears playing in front of him and those are two very good right backs so you know uh, very good player uh, his confidence keeps building he's got all the tools tons of intangibles same thing with Tyler and Tyler saved us in the Open Cup game versus Salt Lake um, you know you could see when he came in against West Ham as well his confidence is growing as well so these games are important the only way young players like that are going to get better is to play in games and, and to be allowed to just be themselves in games and I think this for whatever reason this Open Cup um, the environment just lends itself for that. You know, it's it's easier for them. Sure, and this is a club that's always seemed to have taken the up and cut maybe a little bit more seriously than other clubs. Why shouldn't and it? I mean, it's, I mean, I think if if that five games and you you have a trophy, I think all clubs should take it seriously. At the end of the day, you know, when you sit back and you hang up the boots, it's not where did you go? What did you see? You know, it's how many championships, how many finals. Those are the things you're measured by. So it's a great opportunity. Uh, this club should take it seriously because it's, it's a trophy, plain and simple. Sure. Dan Marshall uh, scored another goal. Can you talk about as a defender scoring and maybe to some of the defenders you've played against? And it's, it's tough to see a player like Chad Marshall left, you know, left off the All-Star list. You know, it's, I get to see day in day out how good he is, how important he is, and and goals goals are important for a team. They're not important for a defender. I think sometimes when a defender scores, it magnifies their performance. But Chad's been a monster for us all year, and it's 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 sad that we couldn't have done a little more to help him out to, to be there. But he's such a great defender. Um, you can see why he's been defender of the year multiple times in this league. You know? And then the whole scoring with the header, is that a lost art? I mean, Ronaldo's a couple, not a lot of people. You know, you've been around long enough. To, is that a lost art? The majority of my goals in my career with my head. You know, it's, it's just about willingness to, to get there first, anticipation. Uh, with a guy like Chad, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot more. You know, he's, got, he's physically just so, so imposing. It's, it's tough to mark him. Uh, and if we get, get service in his area, more likely than not, he's going to do something effective with it. Speaking of unheralded, obviously Ozzy has a lot of praise and plaudits, but I hadn't realized up until this week that he's played in every single MLS uh, minute for you guys so far. Uh, what's he been like for you guys this year? A rock. You know, that's what he should be. I think in those positions, center back and D mid, a lot of times you don't make the headlines. But when you don't make headlines, it's for a good reason. You know, and they haven't made headlines, and I think they've been steady for us. Um, Ozzy's been a rock in that sixth position. Uh, he's, you know what you're going to get with him. You know, he's an honest worker. He always gives you his best. Uh, more often than not, he comes out, out on top of his, on his challenges. It, it's going to be hard not having him for the next match because he's such an important you know, cog. Uh, but it is what it is, and hopefully it'll be an opportunity for somebody else. Disappointing yesterday, but how, uh, how good is it, or how does it feel, the fact that you guys are back on the, uh, on the pitch again on Wednesday, regardless of who you're playing, what you're doing, but just to get back on there and maybe right some wrongs? A lot of wrongs. I mean, it's a coach's nightmare against Portland. You're controlling the game, and minutes before halftime, you give up a goal, a preventable goal. You put out a fire in midfield with a tactical foul that ends, and then you're on top of them again. Keeper makes a brilliant save for them, and you give up a goal first five minutes of the second half. And then you score and you get back in the game, and off your own set piece, they come back down your throat and score again. <laughs> It's just a coach's nightmare. I mean, so many just little things that went wrong in a game where I felt we had a good amount of play. And in the first half, I felt we were playing very well. So it, it, it's tough to to get anything 
positive out of anything like that, you know, a game like that and think, well, Wednesday's a new opportunity. No, because it still lingers. You still think about that, and you should. So hopefully we learn from that. Going into Wednesday, we don't commit the same errors. Um, like I said, I've been in this position before where maybe league play is not going so great, but cup play, it's, it's a different tournament, and it feels like a different tournament. It feels like a different animal. And I think guys recognize the opportunities. It's, it's, it's an opportunity for us Wednesday. It's a clean slate again. Uh, LA is not going to be easy. It's never been easy for Seattle. I think we understand that. Uh, I think we're also excited. We're excited at the opportunity to you know, bring some good into this environment. What gives a team from just kind of putting their head down and just kind of letting the season roll? What, what keeps a team from keep on going when you're in the position that Seattle is in at this moment? Your contract. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, you're a professional. You know, uh, this is what you do for a living. So you, it should matter to you. There shouldn't be any off days, any off plays. Uh, it literally is life and death because this is how you feed your family. This is what you live off of. And as long as you recognize that, uh, you'll be doing the right things. And you know, I think guys understand the situation we're in. Um, that said, I know this is tiring to hear, but games in hand, we go on a little run that's been known to happen in the MLS where a team goes on a run, it's a much different tune. So let's just also not go pressing the panic button. Let's not go crazy. Let's understand that it's still a long season. Yes, things haven't gone our way, but three games is all it takes in this league to build a run, to build momentum, to get your fan base believing, to get yourselves going. It's all it takes, and anything can happen. How much help could it be to gain a player uh, here in this transfer window and get him going in the team. Is that really fundamental for this team? Yeah, it's unfair to, to the player. It's unfair to the fan base, um, to all those thinking that he's going to come in and just change things. There's a learning curve that comes in this league, uh, and you have to realize that, let's say a player played in an international tournament like the Euros or Copa America and then goes directly into another tournament, you know, uh, where they're in, knockout stage and it's it's mentally fatiguing it's physically fatiguing and then they come here and he'll probably get some time off and it'll be an adjustment phase where he needs to get used to the teammates to the league the physicality the travel to the surfaces and before you know it two months have gone by and it's really unfair for anybody to think you can just come on put on a cape and uh, everything will be all well that's not the way things go uh, at least not here not in this league you guys have seen it with numerous amount of players that come in. It takes some time, some adjustment. There is that grace period. But, hey, any player that can make us a better team is more than welcomed.